Hello everyone, welcome to Nini's Life Decentered. I'm your resident hetero-pessimist, reporting on choosing the path less traveled, showing what life truly can be when you pour 100% of your divine feminine energy into self-healing, growth, and self-actualization. I challenge you all to choose better. Choose yourself. Hi everybody, this is the night before my big surgery. I am having upper and lower jaw surgery as well as the chin augmentation let's talk about the reason why i'm doing all of this i'm kind of nervous um <laughs> so i am 41 years old i um recently started my glow up journey i think around gosh 2022 so two years ago when i was 39 i kind of <laughs> got that wake up call that hey i'm about to turn 40 i need to make some major changes to my life i got my mba i um started making a lot of changes to how the way i ate my activity level um i got on um that bound and then Ozempic and lost a ton of weight and started tuning into a lot of influencers who did content on glow up um journey stuff and bought a lot of their products and um what i realize is that a lot of the work is just more mental than anything else but also um there's like a fine line between going too far on trying to keep up with a certain standard and um such as my nails like my nails are terrible right now but i, I had a lot of um those getting my nails done and all these kind of things to try and like elevate myself and i just realized a lot of that stuff is just not for me it actually made my nails worse off and i just want to do things in a more natural way so um beyond that i think the fixing my jaw as you can see i have a bit of a recessed chin my jawline is weak and that comes from not getting braces um at an early age to correct that i noticed early on when i was about 12 that uh, my jaw wasn't developing properly and um it didn't get fixed until i was i started in college as when i got my first job with my own insurance is when i was able to do it on my own because my mother couldn't afford it she was raising three girls and two girls from two of her nieces so uh she really couldn't afford it and so it is what it is if you can please make sure your kids get the right um dental care early on it causes a lot of issues as an adult such as jaw development sleep apnea tmj headaches I'm hoping this will fix a lot and so I'm creating this diary just to see <laughs> this is what I look like before I'll show you guys the after tomorrow my surgery is at noon um, here at Kaiser and I'm excited but also very nervous <laughs> and I'll talk more about why later just based off of just like my interaction with uh, my surgeon and it just didn't give me the biggest vote of confidence. So, he really asked me um, if I wanted my just upper wanted to jaw done too. this little and you are video the one diary. That should know. I was big into. I'm. I've always been into journaling and diarying, but I've never wanted to like put myself out there visually. Until now, I think it's important for me to set the record straight on a lot of the. What's the diplomatic the way to content out there on glowing up and um things to buy and things like that i understand people trying to get their bag out there but honestly it becomes more of an obsession and you'll find yourself spending a ton of money on stuff that you don't really need and i kind of wanted to start this blog out on um, an honest note and um, hopefully you guys will follow my journey thanks like share and subscribe i guess bye